I tell you what, I, I love wintry weather. Me and uh, Aaron have talked about this. There's something about being in the south and seeing a nice blanketing white snow, but the, those are the issues you run into. So I'm actually quite thankful that over the last uh, week or so, a couple instances we had where there are chances we did not see anything. I will say it felt cold enough too, though. Uh, 35 is now the temperature in Birmingham. Remember, at the top of the hour, it was 40. We're now 30 in Coleman. We're 30 in Aniana, 34 down in Sylacauga. A clear sky and light winds is the perfect, absolute perfect setup for temperatures to cool most effectively overnight. So tonight, our wind, our, our, our moon phase is going to be a waning gibbous. You should be able to see that very clearly rising out of the east. And as we look Look at our temperature trends overnight tonight. We drop all the way down into the lower 20s, even some upper teens in some areas. So let's get you caught up on what's happening on Sunday. Now, as we go through the day, first off, we start out in the cool end of things, upper teens to low 20s. But I mentioned earlier, mild temperatures for Monday. A south to west southwesterly wind will be in play tomorrow, and that is generally a, norm, a warm breeze for us. That's going to allow our highs to get into the middle 50s. Our average this time of year is about 55, 56, and that's exactly where we're going to end up tomorrow afternoon with perhaps a few high clouds moving in throughout the day. Otherwise, it looks pretty nice. Monday into Tuesdays when we see a bigger increase in cloud cover, and that's going to mean uh, our next system is on its way, if you say. Planning ahead for tomorrow morning, we're looking at temperatures 20 to about 28. Now, I, I give it that window because if you're an early goer for church, that 6 a.m. out the door is probably going to be closer to this number right here, 20 degrees. If you're headed out the door about 8 o'clock, closer to about 28. So we warm up pretty quickly because of the sunshine, but it is a very chilly start. If you're wondering, that sunrise time is at 6.50, so anything before then is going to take some time to warm up. And then tomorrow afternoon, as I mentioned, highs will be in the upper 40s to lower 50s, plenty of sunshine, and a bit warmer than we've been. The last several days, I, I, you know, I was looking at it, writing it down. I mean, it's been one of the colder stretches that we've had here in central Alabama so far this winter. And our next weather maker is going to help reinforce that cold air. So let's move this ahead to Tuesday at midnight or Monday at midnight, however you want to put that. This is late Monday night. You've got a coastal low. You also have an inbound cold front. So these two kind of working hand in hand, a lot of the moisture just to the south. This cold front will be moving through. We'll have a few showers. The best chance, obviously, it could be south of I-20 and I-59. The best chance of rain is probably going to be a well to the south of here, right along the Gulf Coast. But overall, we'll be watching this line as it sags to the south for periods of rain and then some colder air on the other side. And with that said, we have that rain threat on Tuesday. I'm keeping it higher than that model initially showed because the last several model runs have shown pretty good chance of rain on Tuesday. This last one is much more sparse as far as the rainfall, but we'll have to keep an eye on that. As we head towards the end of the week, another shot of cold air could mean mid-20s for us by Thursday morning. Sunshine accompanies us into the weekend.